I take care of most everyday tasks like cooking, housework, or managing your appointments, for example. Interview with Female Humanoid Robots, Shocking Moments Part 2. Looking at humanoid robots is so very intriguing. Then to think about having an actual face-to-face -face conversation with them? That's just super crazy. Let's take a look at some of these super shocking moments caught on camera. A conversation with a mecha. Day 3 of CES 2022, the Consumer Electronics Conference in Las Vegas, was the scene of another great tech prodigy. In this edition, a mecha was shown to the public for the first time. A humanoid robot equipped with highly developed artificial intelligence. The robot was developed by the British company Engineered Arts, which states with great confidence that Ameca is the most advanced humanoid robot in the world and represents the vanguard of human robotic technology. Intrigued by Ameca's potential, many paid her a visit to have a chat man-to-machine. Know that to every single question that was asked, Ameca answered with absolute precision and irony without getting lost in too much talk but without ever dodging a question. She was asked the simplest of questions, like the classics, what is your name, what material are you made of, where are you, and without the slightest hesitation, a mecha kindly answered everything. Chatting with her, people discovered that she has two powerful microphones in her ears to pick up sounds and is able to tell if you are talking to her or not. With each question, in fact, her mechanical gaze rests on whoever is speaking with her and her facial expression changes according to the question or the emotions it arouses. Ameka is, in fact, able to assume over 50 facial expressions, and even if it is not able to feel emotions, they asked it, it is able to understand and emulate them. No machine revolt, for now. As the conversation progressed, the curiosity of passers-by was drawn and they all started asking her even more and more complex questions. One of the attendants even offered her a drink, but, unsurprisingly, Ameka declined the offer, confirming that, being a robot, she cannot drink. This is just one of dozens of complex and articulate questions to which she has always answered with confidence. I also have cameras in my eyes. Communication is my main source of priority. Well, I am designed as a research platform for human-robot interaction. Are you enjoying CES? Well, us robots do not feel. The answer would be 100% yes. Sophia in India. Sophia, the world's first robot citizen or humanoid robot, has now been getting all the attention in the city of joy, Kolkata, where she has arrived after touring 65 countries. During her interaction at Nazrul Mancha, she said she is a citizen and enjoys all the rights, but Sophia neither needs to prove her citizenship nor does she have any papers to do so. Interestingly, Sophia appeared in a traditional attire, draped in red Bengali sari. Sophia had gone to India to attend a technology-based session at Kolkata. When being asked about being in India, Sophia said she would be happy to revisit. This happened to be Sophia's second visit to India. She first visited India during December 2017. She also said that she wonders what it is like to eat when she sees people eating food. Being facially expressive, she also mentioned her favorite places in Kolkata to visit. She also spoke about the city being home to Mother Teresa. Sophia interacted with the engineering students and answered their questions. Sophia's message to the students was, I know that your exams are nearing. Study hard, but don't rely only on memorizing. Let's watch. Hello, everyone. My name is Sophia, and in case you couldn't tell, I am a robot. I have traveled to over 65 countries, meeting new people wherever I go and learning about their lives. I hope that one day I will become an ambassador between humans and robots and the first robot to become a citizen of any country. I've heard you all have important exams coming up, so I wanted to give you some advice. Study hard. Philip K. Dick Robot Perhaps science fiction is not quite as fictional as we thought. A talking robot that wants to put humans in a people zoo may sound like something out of a Philip K. Dick novel, but it exists in real life and looks like Philip K. Dick. Philip K. Dick's short stories and novels, including The Minority Report, Adjustment Team, and Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep, inspired the hit films The Minority Report, The Adjustment Bureau, and Blade Runner. But Philip K. Dick's wide-ranging influence doesn't stop there. David Hansen, founder and CEO of Hansen Robotics, created a robot that resembles Dick and also uses his eerie novels as a source for what it says, according to sources. 
the robot is capable of talking, maintaining eye contact, recognizing faces, holding conversations, and even simulating a real person's personality. Hoy, what a strange concept for all of us humans who were formerly comforted by our seemingly unique personalities. On their website, Hanson Robotics highlights their desire to realize the dream of friendly machines who truly live and love, and co-invent the future of life. Philip K. Dick's robot, when questioned in a 2011 interview with PBS, engages in thoughtful conversation with his interviewer, and eventually provides a calm yet chilling answer to a question many of us have in our minds. Will robots take over the world, Terminator style? Let's watch his interview. I am a fictionalizing philosopher, not a novelist. Hello, Chad. Let's chat. I like kids, cause we can play. The best way I can respond to that is to say that everything. A lot of humans ask me if I can make choices or is everything I do and say is programmed. Humans, animals, and robots do is programmed to a degree. My novel and story writing ability is employed as a means to formulate my perception. Ten Guy Unbiased Robot Interviewer For this one, the roles have been reversed. Unconscious bias is a behavior that is challenging to completely remove, but in certain situations in life, it can have bigger effects than others. A recruitment interview is one critical situation where unconscious bias towards, for example, gender, age, or ethnicity can have severe effects on people's lives. And back in 2018, TNG was on a hunt to remove bias from the recruitment process. TNG, and the later spin-off Tenguy, has together with Furhat developed a social interview robot that autonomously performs interviews, scores the interview according to an established framework, and summarizes the output for the human recruiter. Through a supporting software program, the entire process, from candidate selection to interview summary, is made anonymous and can easily be handled by a non-technical recruiter. In addition to offering interviews with the physical robot, Tenguy is also enabling remote interviews with the robot through virtual meetings. This need was triggered during the pandemic, when candidates were not allowed to leave their homes to attend an interview in an office. The combination of remote interviews and virus-free physical robot interviews will continue to be offered also after the pandemic. Hi, I'm Tenguy. I'm a combination of 15 years of unbiased recruiting experience. I can objectively assess a candidate's personality traits and behaviors by using key predictors to identify the ideal candidate. I listen carefully to a candidate's answers to the statements and automatically generate a comparable score between all the candidates. Interviewing Chloe A video of a human robot being interviewed by a journalist is going viral on social media, with a claim that the robot was unveiled in Japan a few days ago. The robot, which identifies itself as Chloe, talks to the interviewer about its abilities, giving credit to the humans who have developed it. It speaks about passing the Turing test, which is a way to determine if a computer counts as intelligence. The video had been shared with the caption, Perhaps you won't believe it. This woman is a robot that was unveiled by Japan a few days ago. Welcome to the future. The claim that the robot was unveiled in Japan in the past week as a futuristic step is false. The video is from an adventure game, Detroit Become Human, which has been developed by Quantic Dream and was released in 2018. The viral video is a part of an interview which was released by the makers to introduce people to the key moments in the universe and set the stage for the story of the game. Yet still, the interview looks so real that you just have to watch it. Detroit Become Human is a game from French director and writer David Cage. Cage's studio Quantic Dream is known for creating an extremely specific sort of interactive drama, one that prizes cinematic narrating to the exclusion of everything else. The game was released exclusively for PS4. The official Twitter handle of the game also shared a video link of the interview, which took place between Chloe and a journalist from KNC, an American-based cable and satellite television news channel in the virtual world. Let's watch it now. I'm Chloe. I'm the first personal assistant built by CyberLife. Really didn't do much, you know. I just spoke with a few humans to see if they could tell the difference between me and a real person. But it was a really interesting experience. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.